All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the concept of linear approximation. The beautiful news is for this section, linear approximation is nothing you haven't seen before. Qu the quick short of it is the linear approximation of a function is simply the equation of the line tangent to the function at some x value. To get right down to it, I have a representative function here I'm calling f of x. This pink line right here is the line tangent at the x value of a. The goal here is just to quickly write the full equation for this form. What we're going to use is function values and derivative values to represent the tangent line equation. First and foremost, you should know about the point-slope form of a linear equation, right? If we have a point x1 and y1, it'd be y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And we all know that m in this case represents the slope. Though if we took this equation and we added y to both sides, it would look like this. y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. All this linear approximation that I'm about to show you is exactly that equation right there. But instead of m and y1, we're going to represent those values in terms of the function f of x. m, which would be the slope of this tangent line right here, is simply the value of the derivative of f of x at the value of a. The value of the y value at x equals a for this function f of x, where this tangent line f of x meet, we all know would be f of a, or the function value at the x value of a. All right, so the linear approximation of the function f of x at x equals a, denoted here by the l of x right here, is exactly this equation right here. In this case, again, we're going to use derivatives and function notation to denote all of these values in that thing right there. The first is m. m is the slope of this tangent line. If I have this function f of x, the slope of the tangent line at x equals a is f prime of a by definition. Then we multiply that by x minus the x value. In this case, our x value is a, so this will be x minus a. Finally, then, we add the y value at that point. In this case right here, the y value would be f of a. Again, I really want to emphasize, even though this notation might look a little bit different, we've been doing this constantly through this entire quarter. The idea of a linear approximation graphically is just the equation of the tangent line. Though, as you'll see in the next example, we're gonna use it a bit differently. We're gonna use the linear approximation to approximate the values of difficult functions when we're close to a certain A value. In the first example here, we're being asked to find the linear approximation of f of x equal to the natural log of x at x equals 1, and then we need to use that to estimate the natural log of 1.05. So first of all, we need to identify our a value to be able to put it in this linear approximation. In this case, our a value is 1. So what we need to do now is to evaluate f prime of 1 and f of 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is evaluate f of 1. In this case, f of 1 would be the natural log of 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. The next thing I'm going to do is find the first derivative, f prime of x. f prime of x, this is the natural log of x. The derivative is simply 1 over x. Then I'm going to find f prime of 1 now that I have f of x. So f prime of 1 is 1 over 1, which is simply 1. So now I can find the linear approximation, or in other words, again, I can find the equation of the tangent line of natural log of x at x equals 1, simply following this formula right here. The linear approximation equals f prime of a, which is 1, times x minus a, in this case, a, our a value again was 1, plus f of 1, which was 0. Again, to calculate this, the 1 comes from the f prime of 1, the value I get when I plugged in this x value. The 0 comes from when I plugged in the x value to the original function. And the x minus 1 comes here because that input number that we're looking at, or we're looking at the approximation around x equals 1. Finally, to clean this up, I'll have that the linear approximation of the natural log of x at x equals 1 equals simply x minus 1. So we've now found the linear approximation of the natural log of x at x equals 1. The second thing we're being asked is now to use this to estimate the value of the natural log of 1.05. 
Before I actually do that, I wanna make sure we understand what we're doing and why this would be useful in any way. If we look at graphical representation of what we just found right here, and we zoom in here in pretty close to the natural log of x, at x equals one, and then we impose this tangent line or this linear approximation. The game is, is that when you stay very, very close to x values of one, because this line is following the curve of natural, the natural log of x, that if you stay close to x values near x equals one, this line does a pretty good job at approximating its values. All right, so then we have the equation for this tangent line or the linear approximation of our function f of x equals the natural log of x. If we're trying to estimate the natural log of 1.05, we do know at this point that the natural log of 1.05 in the context of this equation right here is the same of f of 1.05. But we just found that this linear approximation, that this estimates the values of f of x near x values of one. So this is approximately the same thing as our linear approximation of 1.05. And finally, plugging 1.05 into this function right here for x would output 0.05. For this section in linear approximation, this string right here is absolutely the most important thing. Again, if we're being asked to evaluate this, this is obviously the same thing as this for our function f of x, which is the natural log of x. But this equation for the tangent line or the linear approximation approximates the values of f of x when you plug in x values that are near x equals one. So these are basically the same or approximately the same, but this is simply computed by plugging 1.05 into x into this original equation. I can't emphasize enough of how powerful of a move this is. We're using derivatives to estimate these things that are very, very tough to estimate without technology. We're estimating the natural log of 1.05 by first finding the equation of the tangent line near x equals one, and then we plug that value into that tangent line to get this value. So finally, again, now, if we look at the graphical representation of what we just did right here, you'll see that the point, the output of this linear approximation is a little bit off for the function natural log at x equals one, but not much. Without the use of technology, that is a really, really good estimate for the value of the natural log of 1.05.